it's time to get educated and uh, with all the education. This is going to be a multi-part series about transmissions, partially for educational purposes, partially for technical purposes, and mostly so I don't have to retype this every time somebody has a transmission issue. We're going to go in uh, somewhat depth and you're going to learn more than you need to know in terms of care and feeding of your transmission, but hey, more than you need to know who gets hurt, all right? So here we go. We got this piece of technology. It's called a piece of uh, technology. Transmission, what does it do? It makes the wheels turn. Well, we knew that. It is a black box for the purposes of this discussion with some uh, sub-assemblies that it's important to talk about, all right? The first is a thing which looks like a brain. That's your brain called the solenoid pack. Solenoid pack. What does it do? It actually does almost everything that the transmission is and does. And it's one of the main sources of why this transmission is such a problem for people because problems with a solenoid pack get misdiagnosed as a transmission rebuild and then you're out seven grand or whatever, although we charge much less, but that's not the point. Most of the problems I have found in the 62TE transmission, which is what your <coughs> ProMaster has on board, are due to the solenoid pack. Why? The solenoid pack does all the shifting, it does all the thinking, it has all the sensors, and it's all the electronics in one unit, and this is very important, that costs about $400 to $500 and can be replaced in two to three hours without having to take the transmission out. Most of the problems that come with the transmission are centered around the solenoid pack. But let's move on, shall we? There's another sub-assembly in the transmission, which is over here. Uh, what would it look like? Oh, I don't know, I'll draw a little water wheel because this is the pump. The pump does what you would think it would do. It supplies pressurized fluid to the transmission. The pump is sort of a binary thing. It either works or it doesn't. And when we diagnose a pump, what we do is we read the line pressure of the transmission. And if it's below a certain amount, the spec is 130. If it's around 90, the thing will stop moving forward. But fluid, there's other ways to diagnose a fluid pressure issue, but that's the main issue. With the pump, it's replaced as an assembly. The transmission does have to come out, and it is somewhat expensive. But pump problems, and pump problems are relatively rare. I guess we've had, I don't know, over the course of working on 100 ProMasters, perhaps maybe three pump. Well, that's not accurate. Well, I've done three pumps. Uh, one on mine, one on a customer vehicle, another one is coming up in January, all right? Let's move on to another sub-assembly. Uh, uh, it's a torque converter, which is technically over here. It also looks like a donut, <laughs> delicious donut. And we're just gonna call it TC, torque converter. What does it do? It allows the engine to continue running while the transmission isn't, isn't moving, while the vehicle isn't moving. It converts torque into fluid pressure, which it then bleeds off. Um, it performs the function of the clutch in a manual car and torque converter problems are can be somewhat difficult to diagnose but uh, they do happen I have replaced one converter in one of my vans and although the thing is pretty durable and it's not particularly expensive the part 300 400 bucks but the transmission does have to come out to replace the converter the rest of the system two more sub assemblies the cooler which I'm just gonna write two lines and then a little cooler this is very simple and almost never goes bad. This is the little small radiator that lives below your main radiator and the pump pushes fluid to the cooler and it cools it and so on. Everything else about the transmission is contained in the black box called the transmission. That would be all your uh, admission. admission. What am I, a teacher? Um, everything mechanical, the gears, the... Um, the differential, which allows one wheel to turn while the other one doesn't, which allows the vehicle to turn. But all the hard parts in there, the clutches, and all the fun stuff that's uh, the rocket science is contained in what I'm gonna call an assembly is the transmission. When this goes bad, generally speaking, it will put chunks of broken metal in your pan, and it will, um, and that is what a transmission rebuild is. It is not unheard of to have to rebuild the transmission, but it's. It's, as I say, the reputation of the ProMaster 62TE transmission comes from misdiagnosis, not from any fault with the transmission. 
So these are your major sub-assemblies and in multiple parts of this video we're going to talk about each one individually and what there is to know. There isn't really all that much to know about transmissions but I, I think it'll be fun. To review, you've got your black box transmission, all the mechanical stuff, the thing that controls it, the brain, the solenoid pack, the pump which makes the pressure that all this crap runs on, the torque converter which does what it does, and the cooler. I suppose it should be said that there's one more small part in here, which is the fluid and filter, which is a component of the transmission. As you know, the spec on the fluid is to change it every 60,000 miles with the correct Chrysler transmission fluid. Why would you use anything else? And the filter along with it. You can push that out to higher mileage if you do more highway miles, but certainly by 100,000 miles, you should be changing the fluid and filter. That allows the health of this whole Megillah to, to work. And, um, Fluid change and filter is perhaps 240 bucks all in at mo pretty much any shop. It's not, uh, it's a very, very common thing. Changing the fluid and filter is known as a transmission service, not to be confused with the transmission flush, which is something you should never do. A flush is a way to separate you from your cash by a shop that's unwilling to do the, the work of dropping the pan, replacing the filter, putting the pan back on, putting in the correct amount of fluid, and measuring its level. Measuring the level is something else we're going to talk about at some point. So there you go, kids. That's what we're going to learn. It'll probably take a month to make all these videos. We have a customer coming in in January for a pump. and We have another customer coming in for ja in January for a solenoid pack. So I'll be able to make videos that show how these things are done. Granted, you can do them yourself. I don't necessarily recommend it. I don't necessarily discourage it. Bah. You're you. You do you, baby. But at least you'll see it done. And I have found, as you know, that seeing something done brings a fairly large amount of understanding. And that will be the transmission overview that we shall be reviewing in multiple parts of multiple videos, and then I will assemble them into one master video. Thanks for watching, and Happy New Year. It's New Year's Day here on a Sunday. We are working, baby. Love you. Mwah.